Hi, this is Pawan Sharma with Avaya Global Support Services. This video is about how to configure application relay in Avaya or Association Border Controller for Avaya 1x Client Enablement Services user. So first step is to login into Client Enablement Services web interface and download the root certificate. For this I would go to Servers. Presence. Here we can see the root certificate has been listed. Click on extract. And save this to your desktop. Next step is to login into ENS web interface. Here we will configure the client profile, server profile, and application relay for the user. For this, go to TLS management, certificates, click on install certificate to import the certificate that we have downloaded in the last step. Click on CA certificate, give a descriptive name for this one. I will also select allow weak certificate or key. Browse the certificate file and then click on upload. Click on proceed and then install. So this shows the CS root certificate which is being installed as a CS certificate. Next step is to go to client profile. Here we need to add new client profile. Click on add. Your descriptive name for this profile. Select this certificate, this VC site. The peer certificate authority needs to be selected. The CS root certificate that which we have downloaded in the last step. Select the verification depth as 1. Click on next and then finish. The next step is to configure the server profile. Click on add. Give the descriptive name. The certificate needs to be selected with SPC site 1. Here the peer verification needs to be none. Click on next and then finish. To configure the application relay, come to device specific settings, DMZ services, relay services. Click on add over here. Give the descriptive name. The service type should be CES. Make sure the SBC is licensed for the service type CES. The remote IP or FTDN should be CES IP address or FTDN. The remote port should be 8888. Remote transport TLS as you have selected the or configure the CS client profile in the last step. The listen IP should be B1 IP. That's the dummy IP I have configured over here. The listen port should be 7777. Connect IP should be A1 IP address. And the listen port should be TLS. Server TLS profile should be the TLS server profile that we have configured. Once this is configured, come down and click on finish. So this completes the configuration part in this video. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions or feedback, please write to mentor.avaya.com or you can follow us at 
via Minter on Twitter. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com.